Let's begin with our first, first story. There was much attention on what North Korean leader Kim Jong-un would say in his New Year's address this morning on January 1st. The regime, however, did not air his address and instead released a one-hour video about its ruling party gathering. We have our Unification Ministry correspondent Wu Jung-hee joining us on the line. Jung-hee, do fill us in. Daniel, for the first time since rising to power in 2012, Kim Jong-un did not make a New Year's address. The regime instead released the results of its ruling party Central Committee's plenary meeting that took place over the past four days. I will be keeping an eye on the North Korean broadcast throughout the day, but seeing how Kim Jong-un's New Year's address was not published in today's issue of the North Nodong Shimun newspaper, it's unlikely that there will be a separate address from Kim today. Jung-hee, there's definitely interest in this ruling party meeting because it decides the North's future policy directions, of course. Were there any messages on denuclearization talks? Absolutely, yes. The North says there's no reason for it to be shackled to its own promise of halting nuclear and ICBM tests anymore because the U.S. has rather responded with military drills and brought new weaponry into South Korea. Kim Jong-un says the world will soon see the regime owning a new tactical weapon. There's no detailed explanation on what this new tactical weapon is, but it's highly likely to be an ICBM. Kim Jong-un declared that the regime will continue developing these tactical weapons until the U.S. withdraws its hostile policies. He added that the North will always maintain a nuclear deterrent, but this will be leveled up or down in accordance with future U.S. attitudes towards the regime. And what did Kim say about the economy? It seems like North Korea is preparing for prolonged international sanctions. That's right. Well, Kim Jong-un said that North Korea will literally take the bull by the horns. That is, his regime will confront the international sanctions by self-reliance. Kim stressed it's a fact that the North will have to live under international sanctions for a long time, and therefore there needs to be a stronger inner force to achieve self-supported economic development. Kim urged the party to reorganize the country's economic foundations and systems and raise productivity.